of course, working on our Ujjayi breathing. Drawing in the navel. The most of the practice that I want to share with you guys is a practice of navel in, heart breaths, right? Later we'll do some Kapalabhati breathing. These are two different breathing techniques I bring into the practice, right? The Ujjayi breath and the Kapalabhati breathing. So we're starting with the Ujjayi, drawing that navel in, creating that big smile ear to ear, <clears throat> rolling the shoulders down, lifting the heart up, doing our basic body scan to start our practice today. Imagining your spine two inches taller and narrower. Good, let's take a deep breath. And exhale. And then another long breath in together. And a long breath out. The next technique we're gonna do is a breath of fire. It's gonna start to stoke the fires within. You guys know this if you've been doing the class with me the last few weeks. Now you're squeezing, relaxing, squeezing, relaxing, making a intense sound with the breath, like a choo-choo train leaving our Cold Spring Harbor station. So let's get that breath going. Those of you guys at home, keep going, keep practicing. It's going to start to build heat in the body. It's going to start to activate, right? The digestive system, reproductive system, cellular system. It's going to start to really oxygenate your blood, <clears throat> make you feel amazing. I'm going to get another sip. Keep working on that breathing, everybody. <clears throat> Very fast breaths. Discharging, recharging. Discharging, recharging. started counting I got up to a hundred there you guys build up to it a little bit more each day you might feel you know some muscle pain maybe even cramping totally normal totally natural just keep practicing it every day and I already feel like it's starting to invigorate the body so let's get one more round you want to get technical try to get a Gyan Mudra thumb and index finger connected back of the hands to the uh, knees and this helps to put your posture in the right spot <clears throat> I'm gonna get another hundred Ujjayi to start the practice let's go again Get a long breath, inhale, and a long breath. <sighs> you probably need a little moment to just kind of release some energy out of your emotional body. That's what I talked about a lot yesterday in the practice is we take on energy. It might not even be our own, but it hits our emotional body, and we get to come into our yoga practice to recharge positive energy, bring more in, and to discharge whatever negative we hold on to. So let's do a few more breaths like this with this intention of recharging and then discharging. Again, inhale, exhale, inhale, and a long exhale. You feel a little sound, or maybe you're home alone, you can scream. Go ahead and do one. Take a big breath, inhale, 
and a long exhale. All right, maybe you need one more. Inhale and exhale. All right, guys, the next technique, we're going to grab the knees and let's do our circles going around the world. I've been doing these every day and it's starting to feel totally like I have to do these every day. It feels so good. Going in a big circle, you grab the knees, pull, circle yourself around. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward and exhale back. I know today we have advertised and it's going to be an Ashtanga class, but we need a little time to warm ourselves up so we're in a wonderful, healthy, healthy, good place for our body, mind, and spirit. So I'm trying to keep both sit bones down. All right, maybe you got a little more, you know, drama in there. You're visualizing, like your fluid, water, all right? I imagine churning the butter, big stick circling around. <laughs> Good, you go the other direction. So inhaling forward, exhaling back, inhaling forward, exhaling back. And this is all coming from, of course, Kundalini Yoga, Breath of Fire. All right, these moving techniques. I got to train with Yogi Bhajan personally, right? I could go and study with him. So I've got some good techniques for you guys. I apologize. I got some glass in my <laughs> yoga pants. It's fun. All right, let's keep circling. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Good. And do whatever feels good. I mean, you know, something, oh, my hip pops, you know, my elbows have been popping. You know, adjust what needs to adjust. Someone messaged me yesterday, is it okay to crack joints? I don't know. <laughs> Feels pretty good when I do it. I guess it's all up to what you believe in, isn't it? <laughs> the big circle, 80% water, stir it up. Getting rid of blocked energy. All right, we're gonna go both directions one more time. Inhale forward, exhale back. You can always add a little sat nam if you want to. <laughs> we sat forward, nam back. All right, one more the other direction. There you work the kinks out. Oh, it feels great, really amazing. All right, the next. Camel ride, grab the ankles in front, shins and ankles, inhale, look up. And exhale, roll down and try to look at your belly button. Inhale up, exhale round. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. There you go, slow. You can go a little quicker. Hey, whatever you're working through, you guys, just keep trying to find this alignment of the spine. Cerebral spinal fluid, pumping it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, and one. And let's not forget this one. Bring the fingertips to the tops of the shoulders, the washing machine. Inhale left, exhale right. All right, I'm starting to warm up. <laughs> Time to take a layer off. You guys at home, go ahead and keep going. This is my glass on the floor. Oh, this is entertaining today. Never a dull moment. So go ahead and keep that breath going. Inhale and exhale. You guys look awesome. Let's go another 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent. Now let's start to work the hands. Let's just shake them a little bit. <laughs> Take a little faster. <laughs> A lot of people have issues with the wrists. I mean, we have too many hours, type, type, typing, drive, drive, driving, chopping, <laughs> too many hours of that, not enough hours of this, but hey, okay, we're gonna get 90 minutes today. All right, so the next, we're gonna press through the fingers, fingers down, try to keep your shoulder down. All right, stretching out the forearm, the wrist, hands. Oh, we got a puppy. <laughs> Excellent. Doggy yoga. Good, let's get the other side. Stretching out the forearm, keep the shoulder down, stretch the fingers, wrists, take a deep breath in, and out, it's good, especially if it hurts, you know, if something hurts, don't clench, don't tense, and definitely don't feel bad about it, just breathe, take a breath, and let it go, next, interlock the fingers behind the back, actually, I'm taking my right hand and grabbing my left wrist behind the back, 
press the hand down, look up, take a deep breath. Good, and then drop the chin to the chest. Nice, and now look left. Oh, feels so good. Look right, I know it might appear backwards on your TV screen. <laughs> look down, look all the way up, and then circle the neck, right shoulder, right ear to right shoulder, chin to the chest, left ear to left shoulder, and back. I mean, you might have pain, but don't feel bad about it. <laughs> feel glad you're here doing the work. Oh, it's part of the human design, isn't it? Good, and back, let's go the other way. Oh, I don't even know how that just cracked my lower back. How the hell did that happen? <laughs> Wild. Excellent, now we're gonna work the uh, fingers. So take the left palm up, it might look like the right, <laughs> and grab the pinky, one, two, three, go through the three joints of the finger. Now this is not just, you know, to stretch the fingers out. This is also for your brain-body connection. You're massaging each joint and trying to make sure it stays straight for the rest of your life. Get the blood in there. And at the very end, touch the tip of the finger, a little reflexology. And now you got the next one. One, two, three joints. Give a little crack. My palm is up, just in case you don't notice. Good. Wiggle and then really touch the very tip of the finger, activating the brain. Oh, we got more of you joining in on the Zoom. Excellent. Hi. Good. Again, on this one, I learned the value of this one teaching a 90, I think she was 98 year old woman yoga. I realized no matter what your, what age you are, you need this, you need your fingers. Oh, that was great. Nice crack. Give them a little, little wiggle, especially the ones that, you know, remind you that they're there. Go a little more down, you know, some of those knuckles kind of say, Hey, I'm here a little more than the other ones. Give those a little love. Say, I gotcha. You got the thumb now one. Oh yeah. Hopefully you heard that. That was a good crack too. <laughs> And three, then tap the very tip of the finger. It's good for your brain. And now you got the wrist. Open up the wrist. And if you've got wrist issues, give it some love. Say, I'm here for your wrist. I'm taking care of you. Good. Now you got the elbow. <clears throat> Go a little more down. So you can grab the shoulder. So you can bring the hand down. Maybe the elbow down. But just try to keep that opposite leg, knee down. Oh, so good. Three. <sighs> Two. And one all the way up. Beautiful. Now let's get the other side. So I'm taking the palm up. Oh, getting a good side stretch. Going down the line. Pinky. And I try to start from the hand and out to the very tip of the finger. So I'm working the nerves, the nervous system. Working the bones, skeletal system. Working the muscles. And of course, activating brain body connection. Touch the very tip of the finger. And now you got the next one. Oh, yeah. Get that body fluids going. You know, I got one knuckle that reminds me it's there a little too often, you know? Some of you got that? Just give it love. Pull it open. Get the blood flow. And then tap the tip. And I got the next finger. So simple, right? Isn't it simple? It can be eight. It could be 98. You still need to do this one. Next finger. One. Am I going too fast to this side? I think I am. Two. A little more. Touch the tip. You got the thumb. Give it a pull. Ooh, palm is up. Two. Oh, three. Get the hand down, the elbow down. Try to keep the knee down. <clears throat> and I do this looking up a lot because we look down way too much. Focus on your lungs, sides of the ribs. Three, two, and one. The next one, bring the hands, turn them this way behind your back. So you flip the hands around, drop the head back, look up. Take a big breath. Good. And next we're going to come on top. All fours, cat-cow position. So when you do the cat-cow, let's do this first. Yeah, let's get the hands ready for cat-cow. So I'm going to open as wide as I can and then close tight. Inhale, open as wide as you can. Exhale, close. Inhale, open as wide as you can. <laughs> right? You can make it a whole experience here, right? If you're working on handstands. We do this about at least a minute a day, right? This is great for our downward dog prep, right? Take care of those hands. We spend way too much time clenching and gripping things. And some people, as they get a little older, can't fully extend the hands out. Let's keep going. Open and close. Open and close. You can open as wide as you can and really pause there and then close. I mean, you all got your own flair, but 
it's not the most comfortable position in the world. It's already starting to burn. We got another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Got a little hand yoga. So, think about boxes. And whenever we start to put weight on the hands, right, you're trying to get a nice straight line, getting the shoulder directly over the hand. Spread your fingers wide as you can. And yeah, we're going to get into the cat cows next. So going a little side to side. When you go down the line, look at all your fingers, index, ring, thumb, all the fingers, <laughs> all of them, even that other one. Good. And then you go a little front to back, forward and back, and a little more forward and back. Good. So you press and then move it back. Good. Press and back. All right. So usually going forward, it hurts a lot. When it hurts the wrist, make it hurt the fingertips more. Press the fingertips harder and then you ease off and you press and ease off. The next one is circles. Go in a big circle all the way around. Yeah, you just got to do it every day. Especially if you work at a computer. Got to do it. Go the other way. Circle. Spread all the fingers wide. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. And exhale back. The next is cat cow. Inhale, look up. Try to see the sky. And then exhale, chin to chest. Look at the belly button. Inhale, looking all the way up. And then exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now here you can go real slow or you can start to go a lot faster. Good. Start pumping it up. You inhale, exhale with this breath of fire. So it's All right, you guys, go ahead and keep that going. Inhale and exhale. Good, you're home, get into it. All right, look all the way up, around the spine. Try to look at your belly button. Inhale and exhale. We're gonna get ready for some vinyasas coming next. So go ahead and get that breath pumping. You got another 10. Good, another eight. Keep going. I don't wanna check you guys out. Got any more doggy doggies out there? You guys are great. Excellent, you guys are all doing it. This is amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we got out here. Hello, hello. Hi, come practice. We're going to do our vinyasas next. Ow. <laughs> Those of you who didn't get the memo, I just broke a huge glass right in front of the computer, so I'm screwed. <laughs> now we get to do yoga on glass. All right. We're going to come up to stand next for our vinyasa part of the practice. All right, so here we go. Bring the palms together over your heart. Take a breath in and out. And it's inhale, rise the arms up, look up. Exhale, forward fold, touch the mat. Inhale, a half lift. And exhale, jump back into a plank position. Take a breath here in plank. Spread your fingers wide. And move a little front to back. Good. Engage the legs. Engage the quads. Take a moment to lift up between your shoulder blades. You don't drop. Lift as high as you can. Four, three, two, and one. All right. First time, first set. Just lower all the way down. Press up. Up dog. Baby cobra. And let's press back to child's for our first round. In the child's. Come to the tip, tip, tips of your fingers. Drop the head down. Take a deep breath. And exhale. You gotta be kind to yourself. You don't have to work too hard. Not now. But don't work too easy either. You find the delicate balance of effort and intensity for yourself today. But today our practice is dedicated to some self care. Just working on taking care of this part of yourself, right? Your heart health. All right, guys, let's do one or more of these. Let's roll forward into a plank position. Oh, I'm screwed. There's glass all over my yoga mat. Bend the elbows lower down. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Look all the way up. And downward dog. Exhale. Press back. Let's take a breath here. In and out. Good. Long inhale. 
and exhale. Look forward, hop feet to hands, inhale, head up, lengthen the spine, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, we're coming all the way up to stand, palms together, reach up, and exhale, palms to heart. Let's keep that going. Inhale, arms up, look up. Forward fold, exhale. Look up, inhale. Jump back to plank. Let's hold the plank. Again, lock those hands into the mat. Lift those shoulder blades up. Draw the navel in. Hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, when you come forward, maybe you only go halfway forward, but come a little forward as you lower down to chaturanga. Nice. Up dog. Inhale. Look up. And use your feet right back here. Down dog. Exhale. Take a long breath. And exhale. Good. So downward dog. It's challenging, right? You want to really suck the belly button in as tight as you can. You can bend your knees. You can lift your heels. Take a look at your hands. Spread the fingers wide. Take a deep breath. And let's look forward. Hop forward. Feet to hands. Head up. Inhale. Forward fold. Exhale. Rise and reach all the way up. And exhale. Palms together. Again, arms up. Inhale. Fold forward. Exhale. Half lift, inhale, jump back, plank position, hold it, nice and strong. A lot of people struggle with chaturanga. I would be struggling too if I wasn't breathing. Take a breath. Good, with a big inhale, hold here. And as you exhale, lower. Up dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Good, again, navel in. Fingers spread wide, lock those hands into the mat. You can always drop the knees, relax. You can always drop the head for childs. It's really up to you. Today's self-care is in the air. Let's look forward, hop, feet to hands, head up, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. All the way up, inhale. Palms together, exhale. Again, big breath, reach up. Forward bend, exhale, touch the mat or legs. Take a big inhale, look up. Jump back through the push-up and hold. Exhale, lower down. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale, exhale five, bend the knees, look forward, jump, feet to hands, lengthen the head up. Forward bend, exhale. Inhale, use the arms, reach all the way up. And exhale, let's get our last one together, arms up, inhale. Forward bend, exhale. Look up, inhale. Jump back through the push up, lower down, exhale. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. You start to get it. At first it feels like it's way too fast. But really, you realize you're thinking too much. <laughs> it's not that fast. Take a deep breath. And exhale. I go down the line. I lift all my toes up. And spread all the fingers out. Gripping the mat with the fingers. Strengthening your hands. Take a long breath. And exhale. Bend the knees. Jump. Feet to hands. Look up. Forward bend, exhale. Sweep the arms all the way up. And exhale. Hey, one good thing right now is you can really learn Ashtanga Yoga. Let's bend the knees, Ukatasana. Good, arms up, inhale. So Ukatasana, I think of like a thunderbolt from the side. The knees bend, the back is in a back bend. The palms touch, you drop the head back, hold. Five, four, three, two and one and fold forward like you did before look up inhale jump back lower down exhale up dog inhale and we got downward dog exhale the next is the warrior step the right leg forward i'll wait for you guys warrior one all right so warrior one thigh parallel hips a little bit i mean feet a little wide here it's kind of like a natural step you don't want to stress your back knee Reach the arms up, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the hands down on the inhale, step back. Lower down on the exhale. 
Up dog, inhale, and down dog, exhale. All right, you got the other side. Step your left leg forward. Virabhadrasana, the warrior. Inhale, the arms up, bend, bend. Good, take a big breath here. Try to level hips, level shoulders. Look up, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming forward, hands down, inhale. Bend the elbows, lower, exhale. Up dog, inhale. And the down dog, exhale. Nice, everybody. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Long inhale. And exhale. Take another breath. Bend the knees, look forward, jump. Forward bend, exhale. Bend the knees, inhale, arms up. And that was one cycle. Go ahead and keep that going. Bend the knees, oh, you can see me just fine. Forward bend, exhale. Good, look up, inhale. Chaturanga, so eventually you look up, you keep looking up and you're in. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog, right leg warrior, inhale. There, you got it, big breath. Hands down, lower down, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left leg, warrior one, inhale. So you gotta breathe. Arms up. Good, hands down, lower down through the push up. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Five breaths. Exhale all the air out. Make sure you're <sighs> discharging. Jump forward. Inhale. Forward fold. Exhale. Bend the knees. Ukatasana. Inhale. And you're done with set two. Exhale. We got three more to go. Ukatasana. Arms up. Forward fold. Exhale. Half lift. Inhale. Chaturanga. Jump back. Lower down, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right leg, Virabhadrasana, warrior one. Inhale. And eventually one big breath. Hands down, lower down, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left leg, warrior one, inhale. One big breath. Strong like the warrior. Hands down, lower down, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Five breaths. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Bend the knees, jump. Forward fold, exhale. Bend the knees, inhale. Complete the cycle, exhale. Two more, inhale. Forward bend, exhale. Look up, inhale. Jump back, lower down, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right leg, warrior one, inhale. Hands down, chaturanga, lower down, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left leg, warrior one, inhale. Chaturanga, lower down, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Deep breath. Now you can drop the knees down. Or you can drop the head down. Take a deep breath. Jump forward, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Bend the knees, inhale, arms up. 
and all the way up to the top. We got one more to go. We can toss some arms up. I'm sweating, boy. <laughs> Forward bend, exhale. Look up, inhale. Jump back, chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right leg, warrior one, inhale. Lower down, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left leg, warrior one. To the top, inhale. Hands down, lower down, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Deep breath. Hear that breathing, guys. We started the class, Ujjayi breath. Take one more inhale. And exhale, bend the knees, jump feet to hands, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Ukatasana, bend the knees, inhale. Done with the cycle, exhale. Woo. All right, you guys. Take a breath, no breaks for you. We're gonna keep it going all the way through. Here's what we got next. So next, you separate the feet. Hands to the hips. Inhale, look up. And exhale, forward fold. You grab the toes, first two fingers, Padan Gustasana. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bend the elbows to each side wall. And pull, you bend the right. You bend the left. Take some deep breaths. Nice, everybody. So you hollow out the belly. Keep drawing that navel in. How you guys doing? Hi, welcome. Welcome to the Hot Yoga Club. Take some breaths. <sighs> nice. So that's Pada, Pada Gustasana, grabbing the toes. Good. First two fingers. You bend the knees if you need to. Bend the elbows. And the trick is shoulders to knees is primary. So bend the knees in a side position. You bend the knees and lean. Bend the knees and lean. Hollow all of it out. That's the trick. All right, next is Padahastasana. I take the hands under the feet, toes to the creases of the wrist. Inhale, look up. Exhale, pull. Inhale, flexion. Exhale, extension. Opening and closing like a billow is out of fire, pumping the breath in. And out. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. And out. So it's vigorous, vigorous breathing. Absolutely. You're waking up the cells oxygenating your blood. It's gonna feel amazing. Go ahead and get another breath there. And exhale. <sighs> All right, guys. Let's come into the next. Step your feet apart. We're gonna do our triangles now. Open the arms. I'm gonna get in the middle of my circle here. <laughs> Open the arms wide as you can. Good. All right, everybody. For the next posture, you're pivoting your right foot to the right. So you're turning the right foot out, lifting the chest up, opening your heart, opening your lungs, and now reach. Reach. Keep reaching as far right as you can. Good. And Tita Trikonasana. You got the right hand down and the left hand up, eventually. <laughs> right now, I'm just working on getting my spine level. Good. We'll take a little time in this one. Let it kind of melt open. If you got something to lean on at home, like a wall, go ahead and lean against a wall. Whew. Definitely getting my Achilles a little bit today. So you draw in and up. You press the toes, engage the quads, and you work on opposition of force, right? And now I just keep letting the body melt into it a little more. You might look down and twist more up. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Yeah, we'll go a little slower today. We'll hold the pose a little longer. We'll breathe a little deeper. This hand can go up or over the back and grab the other hip. Five, four, three. The guys look beautiful. Two. I want. Now here's a really great thing to think. I'm taking this hand right now in the, uh, in the air and I'm trying to pull myself up. <laughs> Makes a big difference in how it feels. Now it's the right foot forward, the left toe is out. And as I'm bringing the spine down, I'm twisting my gaze up. So take a little time. 
bring the feet wider, one foot's out, right? The other foot's forward, start to twist. All the way out, oh, so good, like someone's pulling you out. And then you bring the hand to the ankle, shin, a block, floor, start to find your twist. This is, sometimes you gotta ease into it, make adjustments. Really rooting to rise. I'm pressing my toes down and trying to engage the quads, navel in. Toes more down, more core. Let the floor to the core. Good. Some of you can get even lower. Bring the hand down. Twist. Good. Take some deep breaths. Inspired, not tired. Strong, right where you belong. Find your warrior mind. You guys are beautiful. Keep trying to twist. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. A few more moments here. Just let it melt open a little. You might have to look down. Engage the quads. Strong, right here, engaged. Three, two, one more breath. Remember, pull yourself up. The next is the reverse triangle. We pivot, pivot, and now square the hips. So the inner thighs touch in a bit of a scissoring action. Right, you're drawing in, lifting the opposite hand up as high as you can, and bringing the opposite hand down to the foot that's on the floor. Start to find the twist. And we melt a little. You can take your right hand and pull your right hip back. Good, you can lengthen a little, strengthen a lot. Breathe deep, let it melt, guys. Do your best to stay positive. Beautiful posture. Let it melt a little bit. Imagine a little x-ray vision. Not just your neck twisting. All the way down the line. Three, two, and one. Again with the hand. I press through the right foot, the foot on the mat. I push, and then I use the hand to get up. All the way up. Pivot around. Level the hips. Switch the arms. Good. Take the time to make a beautiful grand entrance. Get one chance. Do it right. Inhale all the way up. And exhale all the way down. Lengthen. Twist. Feel that spiral. Good, 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 everybody. Root to rise. Deep breath in and out. Good. So we spend a lot of time working, grounding. From being grounded, pulling back. And then you can find me up. This posture <laughs> gave me hell <laughs> when I was learning yoga. I kept falling over. One thing I learned is bring the feet a little bit further apart and press more into your back heel and front hands. That's why I put the front hand in the inside. I know it's not politically correct, but I prefer it because that's where my shoulder is. That's where my weight is. I'm using that hand to support my weight like a box. <sighs> From there. Inhale. Exhale, let it melt. Inhale. Exhale, let it melt. Inhale. Exhale, let it melt. Three, two, and one. Looking down, use the left, the foot on the floor. Root it. The upper arm, rise it. Come all the way up. Good, and now you're back to the front. The next one is the feet apart wider. Right, side angle doing any jumping because I'm kind of in my attic. <laughs> Pivot your right foot to the right. I don't want to break anything else up here. <laughs> Good. So this one, you want to bring the feet really wide. I have my right foot pointing straight out. I have my left toes pointing a little bit on an angle, just a bit, enough to get my outer edge of the foot down. Open the arms wide as you can. We're trying to be a warrior, not a warrior. And this one is the extended side angle, Tita Parshvakonasa. So now I start reaching like someone's pulling me. Reaching, reaching, reaching. And as I reach, I'm twisting. <sighs> any spine twist, I mean, sorry, any triangle. You don't have to go all the way down. Some people, this is really challenging. You can stay right here. I like to keep this hand on the hip and focus a lot on this twist. Take a breath and spin. Inhale. Exhale. Good, inhale. Maybe get the arm over. Maybe you get the hand in. <laughs> Good. Maybe you get the arm in front. I know some of you guys can do this one. Ooh. 
the bind under the knee. <sighs> Definitely intense. Then you start to shift, shift, lift, lift. You know, I think weird things. I'm like, can I touch the ceiling with my foot right now? Is it possible? Might be. Take a breath. <laughs> Good. So you went into Bird of Paradise or you stayed there or you did the bind. You took your foot up in the air. Nice, Elise. I knew you were going to do it, girl. You guys look great at home. Take a breath. Good. And you could practice as many times as you can. But here's my trick. I get down onto this leg. I stack up one two, three, four. See, I'm stacking, five. <laughs> and that's how you start to get it. You gotta find your center, power up from there. Nice, there's another one. If you guys wanna practice at home, you take the right arm under, and you balance on the right leg. When you get the balance, it's easy. When you get it, it's easy. Just getting there is hard. <laughs> All right, guys, you got the other side. So you gotta maintain the tailbone tucking under, right? The chest lifting up as you get into this side angle position. So you bend. It's a nice straight line, this hip to this knee to start. Then you start to twist. Work your way down, twist. Then you get a little lower, maybe you stay here, right? triangles and you can get into your side angles harsh but konasanas any triangle you want to do it's up to you your home do whatever you want it's your home practice isn't it amazing what i prayed for you guys all these years home practice now you got it take a breath hey now i got it i never had a room in my home either this is cool try to get a little lower all right here's the next Bind, under, over, stack. Bird of paradise. It's amazing when I really think about how hard some of these things were to get. The energy you go through, the frustration, the self-doubt, the judgment. The thinking that there's something so fucked up with you, that's why you can't do it. And it's a lie. So cool. Go ahead and keep practicing. Nice, you guys look great. So again, the balance of this one is you have to lean and lift. I'm thinking about my mass stacked over the pivot point. It's all physics. Let's try it again. You bind, you stack. That's it. It ain't over till it's over. <laughs> I will fight, especially if on camera, shit. All right, here we go. <laughs> Good, the next, down, look forward and lift. You do half move. Definitely interesting how unique you are one side to the other. It's just the way your body's designed. All right, we got the next, and it's gonna be the twist. So when we get the twist, we can drop the knee and twist. So here's what I'm gonna do facing you guys. Pull. So I actually take the knee and push it. Almost a little bit of a back bend. Now this one could be a little tough during quarantina. All right. And here we go. Same idea. You can lift. <laughs> See the action? You have to deflate. You have to get the shoulder outside. Those you want the Ashtanga version. All right, that's how you get it. A little bit of a back bend. And then you cross over. Beautiful, you guys. You can stay here. Heck, you can even just do a 
the spinal twist as well. Once you start seeing the primary action, then you can know how to modify and how to intensify. Primary action of this posture is a spine twist from the bottom of the spine. You can even stay here and work on it. Good, take another breath in, finish up. Yeah, switch sides. You can do any way you want to change sides. And it's the over, over the leg. Up, across, under, and around. And then you can come up. <laughs> it's pretty intense. It's good for intestinal cleansing, digestive cleansing, up in the peristolic action. Remember, you can stay here and twist. Just keep working the breath. Hello, spleen, right? Liver over here. Pancreas, kidneys, digestive system, reproductive system, hormones, all that good stuff. Keep going lower and lower, lower and lower. And that's how you get it. Well, the good news is that's it for that. So if you've got it, so you just keep practicing, be kind to yourself. The next one is a straddle forward bend. So you bring the feet apart, arms out, and then hands to the hips. Take a breath, look up, and then exhale, hinge forward. Good, first set, you bring the hands to the mat, almost in line with the feet, look up, and walk the hands through. Unless you're getting bored, I mean, you can come up, Or you can just stay there. <laughs> Don't break anything at home. <laughs> Good guys, take a breath. Pull. The trick to forward bending is hollowing out your belly. The trick to all this shit is believing in yourself. <laughs> hey, I don't know if you don't believe in yourself. I'm gonna do my best to believe in you, but you gotta start believing in yourself too. Grab and pull. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, head up. Good, come all the way up. We're gonna try to save time here. Interlock the fingers behind your back like this, clasp. Good, inhale, look up, and exhale, go far. Take some deep breaths. Good, try to go down. Chin to the chest, turn around more and more. Try to get your knuckles down. Good, shoulders are opening. Go a little right, left. Loosen it up. Take a deep breath. A little bit goes a long way. Each day you open up a little more. It's a lot to do with your lifestyle choices, you know. And you can make the change happen a little bit more each and every day. So stay there for a few more breaths. We got a lot of energy we need to release out of our soul, out of our emotional body. Take a breath. Turn your neck a little. Shake it out. One thing you notice in your yoga practice is, you know, a lot of body worries, body stresses. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't stress. You got yoga. You can take care of it. Take some deep breaths, whatever it is. There's a meditation for that. All right, guys, let's come on up. Next few postures are done standing. All right. Feet together. Palms together. Recenter. Reconnect. Good. First posture standing here is called Utida Hasta Padan Gustasana. That'll be a test later. <laughs> Good. You just pull the knee in. It's amazing. We got 16 people on the Zoom. It's great. You guys are fantastic. Good. So suck the stomach in as tight as you can and pull the knee high. Four. Three. Two, and one, bring that leg down, and let's go to the other side. Just because we, it's our first standing posture, I like to do a little preset before the set. <laughs> Excellent. Remember what we worked on in the beginning of class? This is in, breathing here, chest breath. You need it for postures like this. 
This is all in the whole time, all right, you guys? Right leg up. Tita Hasta Padang Bhustasana. First set, you try to get your head to your shin. Draw that navel in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, head up. Open out to the side. Look left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Look forward. Take the leg forward. Look right. Lift your chest. Five, four, three, two, and one. Look forward. Point the toe and hold. Five, four, three, three, two, and one. Other side. Left leg up. Hold. Good. Lift the chest. Take the leg up. Draw that navel and rise your spine up. Five. Get your head to leg. Four, three, two, and one. Open out. Good. Elevate yourself. Lift. Be strong, be tall. Five, four, three, two, one. You can do this sitting down, you know. Take the leg forward, twist the other direction. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take the leg forward and hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. The next. Take the leg up into a half lotus position. And so we combine over the plank. <laughs> Take the right leg up. Try to wrap the right foot over the top. And then somebody can go forward. It's called Arabhadapada Padotanasana. Or some of you at home, you may be a little challenging for that one. You can just bring the foot here. Just keep lifting the chest. Maybe you bring the arms up, look up, rise up. How long you can hold it? Got plenty of time today. Be a tree. Roots rise. Breathe deep. Don't go into the pain. Rise above it. Train your brain. <laughs> Let's go to the other side. A lot of what we're doing here. We're training our brain pain thresholds. We're going to change our pain threshold a little bit by adjusting our mind, adapting our mind. So that imprints, <clears throat> desensitization, I guess you can call it, but I hate that word. I don't want to be desensitized. I want to be pre-sensitized. <laughs> Good, you can stay here. You can take the leg higher. Maybe you can wrap it over the top. You can bind. Some of you can go all the way down. It's all about being inspired. All right, not tired, not stressed, not worried. Remember, worrying is praying for what you don't want. Why would we want to focus so much energy on the things we don't want? Be strong, be tall, breathe deep. That's all you can do, one day at a time, one breath at a time. Keep elevating yourself. You are a tree, strong and healthy. Three, two, and one and done with that part of the practice. Not off the hook yet. We still got some more vinyasas to go. So let's come to the top of our mats, everybody. Palms together, take a breath. Exhale, arms up and in. Fold forward, exhale. Half lift, inhale. Jump back, lower down, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Look forward, jump, feet to hands, inhale. Fold forward, exhale, bend the knees, Utkatasana, inhale, hold, five, four, three, two, one, fold forward, exhale, half lift, inhale, jump back, lower down, exhale, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale, right leg warrior, 
two, hold, five breaths, arms up, five, four, three, two, and one, switch sides, bend the left knee, Take a breath. Five, four, three, warrior. Two, and one. Straighten, bend the right. Look over the right arm. Four, three, two, one. Hands down, step back, inhale. Bend the elbows, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Bonus pose. Vashisthasana. So in the first Vashi, I'm gonna drop your knee down. That's fine. See what I got going on here. Hand is stacked. Other hand straight up like an anchor. Laying on its side, right? Take a breath. You can stay here. The next move, one foot in front of the other. Right? Then you try to get one foot on top of the other. I've got a really uneven surface I'm on here. Then you try to get one foot down. Whew. So focus. Alrighty, guys. Hold it here with ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, oh, torture, come forward, lower down, exhale, upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale, on the other side, I don't want to turn away from you, so, <laughs> so first feet, actually first knee, down, and the arms right, then you try to get a foot in front of the other, try to get the feet right, and eventually try to get a foot flat. And you use your glutes. And you can get up. You ready guys? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Oh, and lower down, vinyasa. Up dog, down dog. Well, the good news is, not even halfway through the primary series yet. So let's come into the next. Bring the legs in front. Paschimottanasana. Yeah, adjust your cameras. <laughs> Great seeing you guys out there. It's amazing. Oh, I'm building a sweat and I'm in my freezing cold attic. As long as I've been doing this kind of practice, Ashtanga Yoga, it wasn't really a practice of adding any external heat. It was all about building internal heat through the breathing. We started class out with the breathing technique. It's Ujjayi breath. Let me turn the music down. And the music's all good when it's not words, but once people start talking, it gets confusing. So the Ujjayi breath, it'll actually make it look like you had a facelift as he's practiced this Ujjayi breath over a few years. Sounds good, right? <laughs> Going back to this. And that builds heat. It builds heat, right? Very, very intense, this victorious breath. So yeah, exactly. Scoot your glutes out of the way. Bring your arms up over your head. Right, this part of the breathing is only one part. The other part is the hollowing of the belly. Arms up and fold forward. Grab over the top of the feet or your two fingers. Grab the big toe. Any forward bend. Start to pull. Inhale, you're going to back bend into your forward bend. Does that make sense? I'll turn sideways. You can see what I'm doing with my back. I'm gonna arch as you go forward. Arch, arch, right? You might have to bend the knees. 
like I said at the beginning of class, the first forward bend, it's shoulders to knees that's primary. The rest is secondary, I know. You don't believe me, you think your legs are too long, but it ain't the answer. <laughs> it ain't the problem. Okay, let's get the next. Take the right leg up in a half lotus. Good, you wanna bring the leg on top of the thigh. If you can't, it's all right, bring it on the inside. And we'll start to twist. So you can keep twisting and take this hand and grab the other foot. <laughs> there. And then of course this becomes Ardhapadapada Paschimottanasana eventually. So just do your best where you're at. Nice seated forward bend. So I got the half lotus and the bind. I don't know if you can see that. And then forward. So you arch the back and fold forward. And this is great for the kidneys, right? You're squeezing the blood throughout the whole body. It's good stuff. I've been doing this. 20 years. I don't know. I think I'm preserving my my youth. <laughs> Let's go a little lower. You got it, guys. Inhale, head up. And you could just eventually, you know, if you can get down, try to drop the head onto the leg. Inhale, head up. Palms down. See if you can lift. Yeah, your butt. <laughs> Maybe you can cross your ankles and lift. Maybe you can lift your feet. Oh. <laughs> I know some of your kids out there can do that. All right, guys, let's get the next one. Yeah, thanks, you guys. You take the leg up. <laughs> you bend it. Good, you press. You're pulling the calf and the thigh away from each other. I mean, people think a lot about stretching, but there's an end of the stretch. When this mass hits this mass, where else are you going to go? So you're going to pull it apart a little bit. Same with the forward bend. When this mass hits this, where are you going to go? You got to lift up and hollow it out more. So here's the bind. I take the arm over, grab the foot. You can twist to start to get it. And you can even take your own hand and pull it there. <laughs> All right. It's a great stretch when you get it. I'm going to turn around and show you why it's so good. I will not be able to go forward if my back is round. I'll never get this. You see? I have to get the back right to get that. So it actually teaches you proper alignment in the forward bend because I have to back bend into the forward bend. Pretty amazing, right? I am fortunate to have practiced with Patelby Joyce, no matter what other things came with the experience. Still very fortunate because I learned every forward bend, inhale, head up, exhale, forward, inhale, head up. Now, if you guys see me from the front, the body torso is over this leg, which is, ooh, Incredibly challenging, but wonderful when you get there. Take a breath, take this hand, pull back like you're pulling on the rain. Last breath, go to and inhale, head up. So we have another cross lift. You press and lift, hold, five, four. Yeah, maybe take your feet up, three. Lift your chest up, two, one. All right, the next one, you lean left and pull the right leg back. Triyanga, Mukha Ekapada Paschimottanasana. Come forward. You guys got all day to get through the rest of the series? <laughs> it's going to take a while. We're not even halfway through yet. <laughs> a lot of people have a tough time with this one. So, I don't know what to tell you. Lean more left. You can see where my foot is. It's outside. And then you go forward. Inhale, head up. Exhale, pull forward. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And then come up. If you can, you cross lift between sides and then you lean and you get the other side. Up and forward. Inhale, head up. Exhale, pull forward. I'm not kind of doing this. <laughs> no, not very fun either. Why would you want to do that? Keep pumping the breath in, out, in, out. Keep moving up, down, forward, back. You got to hollow the belly. Turn sideways. You can see again where I'm going here. Arching and forward. Arching and forward. Good. Go ahead and drop the head. Three, two, and ah, one. The next is the Marichi Asana. So we're going to skip ahead. We're going to take the right knee up towards the right shoulder. Take the right arm towards the left foot. 
<laughs> you gotta go lower, 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 and then you. Did you see that? <laughs> you open the arms and you bind over the back. So from the front position, you can see my right sit bones off the mat. Good. And you're wrapping the arms around the leg. Now, some of you, not gonna happen today, maybe not ever again. Don't sweat it, no big deal. Never worry about it, never feel bad about it. Just go forward. Feel glad. You guys at home look like you all got it. <laughs> Good. Some of you, that's too easy. You bind here. Still too easy. You go here. Still too easy. You go here. Right? Don't worry. Something for everyone. We'll make it fun for you. Entertainment for hours. <laughs> so those are all the variations of Marichi Asana A. Take a breath. Move forward, at least in my class. <laughs> Good, and then come on up. We're going to do the other side. So cross, lift, hold. Three, two, and one. Bring it down, switch. Definitely doing a light practice today. I don't want to push you guys too hard while you're at home. Why bother? So you got this, foot flat, butt off the mat, arm up, forward, pull, 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 pull. pull. With this practice of freedom, pull, pull, try to bind. Deep breath in and fold. Good, so my hands are touching behind my back. Nice. Another posture that puts your back in the right alignment. You can stay here. You reach S and A. Now you can take the foot behind the knee. Try to bind. Bird of paradise on the seat. You're going to try to take the leg a little higher. Cross the ankles. And you've got Ashtova Krasana. I can never have you do something I haven't tried myself. You guys got that one? Let's see you guys at home. How y'all doing out there? Looking good. <laughs> All right, so next, Marichi Asana with the twist. So, the foot is flat, and now opposite hand over. And you're spinning. Challenging any spine twist we'll do here. And eventually, you get the bind. I'm gonna skip that for today. I'm running out of time. Oh, feels so good though, take a breath. Twist, those of you who want to take it further, you can practice this arm balance. So come up, twist, hands down, spin. All right, just a little bit each day, you'll get it. Take a breath, good, let's get the other side, Marichyasana, twist. Nice, you need to try, fine. And of course, you can try the arm balance. Different ways to do it. This one's the harder way with the arm out. <laughs> Once you get one, you'll see that you can get them all. Let's do a Baddha Konasana. Feet flat together. Take a breath. Drop the knees. Do a little twist. The other way, big breath in, spin, big breath in, spin, another big breath in, and spin. Good, now you can stay here, lifting up, folding forward. Those of you at home, a little more advanced, you can bring the feet up. Try to bind around one leg. Try to bind around the other. So we can try to balance. Firefly. Not so hard. I get little kids to do this one. <laughs> Just put the right thing in the right place. You guys can do some arm balance tutorials whenever you guys want to sign up for that. Bhutta Pidasana would be next. Crossing of the ankles, arm pressure. You guys can practice crow, bakasana as well. 
something for everyone. So chrono is quite simple. Believe it or not, all these postures are quite simple. They're basic, just physics, understanding your pivot point, <laughs> your center of mass, which is usually your ass, right? And try to just stack your bones. So my elbow is too far back. I'm going to be out of alignment and it's going to be a big struggle. I'm actually not using muscles as much as you think. I don't really have gigantic muscles. I'm using balance and opposition. So fingers spread wide. Hands are directly under shoulders like cat cow. The knee has to be towards the shoulder to get the posture. So I come into a squat and I try to get the knees to shoulders, shoulder to knee, right? Then from the squat, I will lift all the way up to get the elbow over the hand. Elbows over the hand. You see how my feet, <laughs> that was effortless. Once you get your elbows over your hand and you bend, you have the counterbalance. That's it. You can hold it for a long time. Once you find the balance, it's not very hard. It just takes concentration. From here, you can put your head down and take your legs up if you like. And so we can practice coming back into crow from there. Once you get one, you can get them all. It's quite simple. It's just getting there is hard. And one just goes from the next to the next. Malasana, binding here, spreading fingers, cat cows. Each day, you get a little closer. Take a breath. And anytime you feel this idea like it's too hard, just remember there's a five-year-old doing it right now somewhere, <laughs> kicking your butt. <laughs> All right, guys, so the next we're gonna lay in our belly, turn around to the side position, make whatever adjustments you need. I'm putting the elbows down. I'm just holding here in a sphinx position, getting a curve. Spend countless hours sitting down, slumped, slouched. Just a little time looking up, lifting the chest up, lifting the heart up, maybe squeeze your legs together. Lift up more. Good. Bring the hands back. Cobra. Lift all the way up. And press back to child or downward dog. Move forward. Lower down. Cobra pose, squeeze the legs, lift up. Look up, elbows in, shoulders in. And then curve all the way up, back to child or dog. Move forward, same thing, cobra pose, curve the body up. All the way up, child or dog. Move forward again, bend the knees bow. Grab the ankles, okay. If you're home, grab your cuffs, grab your shorts. Do one hand at a time. It's all good in the neighborhood. Kick back, lift up, rise up. And then up dog. Child or down dog. Coming back forward. Bow again. One, two, up. Ten, nine. All right, you guys, keep on ready to press. One hand at a time. You can grab a towel. You can grab anything. You can grab your cuffs. You can cross the ankles here. Hold like this. Maybe you can press even more up. Some of you, this is the best way to do it. You really get the chest more open, heart more open, lungs more open. I am sweating. I don't even have the heat on. This is amazing. You guys are great. Look up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Press back to downward dog or child. 
Stretch this camel on the knees. And you bring one hand down, one hand up. And you can bring both hands back. And just hold. Feel your soul. Feel your heart. Feel your spirit. Feel your lungs. His lungs now. Get into the bottom of the lungs. Get into the liver. Meditate on your organs being healthy, 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 strong organs. One hand up. Those of you who are newer to the practice, just sit. Those of you home, stay as long as you can. I mean, have you held camel as long as you can ever? Quite amazing. Those of you at home, here's step one. Step two. Step three. Step four. Step five. It's not easy getting the chest to open up. A lot of emotions in there. A lot of issues in the tissues. Let's liberate our souls today. Open up our spirit. Captivate the inner awakening. Stay a little longer. Take deep breaths. Try to make yourself stronger. It's a lot on the shoulders, I know. Take your time. But don't give up. Come out, go back in. You can take a seat, take a breath. And then there's other back bends with your grips. So if you lay your back, you can do another set of camel. Raise your chest and feet down and try to grab the ankles and lift. Oh, my neck sure likes that one, especially today. Here's the next. You can stay there, you can do this one. Keep practicing, you guys. Let me see how y'all doing out there. How's everybody out there? Some of you guys are dropping out on me. <laughs> you guys look great. Practice. Yeah, if you got a wheel at home, definitely go grab that wheel. Looking amazing. Hey, you guys, rocking it. Right now we're doing the back bends. So we've got camels wheels if you're home and have a dharma yoga wheel you can go and grab that <laughs> awesome job everybody uh 12 people still on the zoom and of course if you like your next you can come sit down
like anything. Just a little bit of practice goes a long way. A lot of these postures certainly seemed impossible, but you have to have one belief that it is possible and then it will be possible. I think that's why I love yoga so much because you're not going to get results. You don't, you don't really get a posture unless you believe in it. You have to have not just the mental awareness of the posture. You also have to have the emotional connection to the posture. Like I fucking want to get this shit. <laughs> and then you have to have the spiritual connection where you believe it's possible. So it's very different than any other sport. It's very different than any other activity, but I think it's a hell of a lot like riding because I'm captivating another spirit and I'm trying to merge together with that spirit. And that's a lot like what we're trying to do with our yoga practice. We're trying to merge together with our own spirit. And we don't even know how we were never given the tools. We were never taught how to breathe properly. We were never taught how to eat properly. And we're never taught how to think properly. Isn't it like madness? I mean, that's why I got really into yoga because it felt like I was doing something really against the grain. And now it's so much the norm, which is great. I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful for you guys for taking the time to practice with me today. You know, it's a, a practice of really, really life-changing experience. It's a practice of tapping into these ancient, ancient tools and using them in this modern time more than we need it now more than ever. So we're going back to the breathing now, like we started the class out with. Inhale. And exhale. Long ujjayi breaths. And we're trying to remember that we don't have to be affected by everything. That's half the reason or the whole reason why I went to the Bikram training in the first place because I heard he was really an asshole and, you know, really got on people. And I was like, I got to learn to be unaffected because I'm so affected by everything. You know, someone can look at you the wrong way and you're like, what did I do? You know, I definitely was there. I was damaged goods <laughs> and I've learned to train myself to be stronger. And the practice really helps. I mean, you build this bone strength through the poses. Right? You're building muscle strength through the poses. You're building strength in your nervous system in the poses. You're building strength through your circulation and how you breathe. Eventually you start building a lot of mental strength. These postures take mental strength. They take willpower. They take dedication. They take all the great things that we really need in our lives together. So keep focusing on your breath right now in and out. The first step of creating, right? Self mastery. Is to first master your breathing. In and out. You train yourself to turn the attention inward and to not let external things affect you. Then you try to train yourself to turn your attention inward and not allow your inner things to affect you, like, you know, whatever bugs you, whatever wakes you up at night. You try to train yourself to just not let that affect you or infect you. And then of course, right, you have the ability to create a spiritual awakening a little bit each day. Letting go of what doesn't serve you anymore and knowing what you truly need for your own soul. So next we're going to do our Ananova Lome or alternate nostril breathing. You take the right thumb you bring it to the right nostril. I know it might look backwards on the screen. I know because what tattoo I have. <laughs> this is my right hand. Good. You inhale through the left nostril. Switch. Exhale, right nostril. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. It's about an eight count breath in and out. Inhale. Lock the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Lock the right, exhale left. Inhale. Exhale. Once 
the cone. You can lay down. So many distractions in our life. We need this. The first step to self mastery is controlling your breathing. Inhale right. Exhale out. Breathing deep breaths. Exhale. Try to train yourself to be unaffected, breath connected. Keep working on your sense of centering your mind, centering your body. And you're focusing on the center between the eyes, the third eye point. If you can, you visualize it going up the left, across to the right side of the brain, to the left side of the brain and then out the right, like it makes a circle, a loop across the brain. Keep focusing on the third eye point. I touch my index finger there. You might be able to start to meditate, creating a light within. Try to connect to the healer within you. And you can think about the word dis-ease. We're not at ease. We're agitated. We're irritated. We're frustrated, we're annoyed, we're upset. All these things harm our immune system. They weaken us. The thoughts like, I'm strong, I can get through this, I'm healthy. I got everything I need to be happy. These kind of meditations, they help your immune system. We are an ancient species, been on the planet for such a long time, and we have certain things in our, you know, programming, whatever you want to call it, unconscious mind, DNA, evolution of the species, fight or flight. We have all these things going on that are deep inside the recesses of our brain. I believe we have ancestral memories, fears from our ancestors. We don't even know what they are. And we take a moment right now. We just shed that away. We're not living in a famine. Maybe we have something going on in our world out there, but we have a world in here that we can strengthen. So when we're more at ease, we have less dis-ease. So can remember, here comes the sun. It's all going to be all right. You have yoga to bring the light within you, to illuminate your mind, body, and spirit, and to inspire yourself to be the greatest version of yourself. It's so good for your health. Thank you guys for shining your lights today and showing up, turning your computers on and uh, showing your faces. It was really wonderful. I'm going to end the uh, Facebook live feed and I'll turn on the uh, mics to our Zoom if you guys want to talk a little bit. But That was great, you guys. Very magical. Love you guys. Great practice. Thank you. Namaste.